In this video, we're going to show you everything you need to get started in LRS. I'm Lee from How to Trick a Fish, working closely with Dan from LRF and HRF on our new venture, LRF Tutorials. This is your basic LRF setup. This is probably as cheap as you're ever going to get. It's a HTO and finesse, 0 to 5 grams. It's a tubular rod, absolutely perfect for chucking around metals, jig heads, stuff like that. It's also great for drop shot, etc. I've got it paired up with a really, really cheap Japanese Shimano reel. This is the Shimano Sienna. You can pick it up for sort of 20 to 25 pounds. Um, I'll put some links in the description so you can have a go of it. I've got it lined with a cheap Shimano braid. This was £10 for about 150 metres. That's all you're going to need for LRF. You can put a bit of backing on if you've got a slightly bigger reel. Attached to it, we've got a fluorocarbon leader. This one's from Barclay. Absolutely perfect. I've got £4 on there. Reduces the visibility and it gives you a bit of abrasion if you're rubbing against rocks, etc. Um, the terminal tackle we'll do a whole separate section on. But at the moment, I've just got a little jig head on there, about one and a half grams. Little bit of Isome worm from Maracu. Um, nice little setup, ideal to get yourself started fishing. Here we've got a range of hooks ranging from size 8 all the way down to sort of like really really tiny sort of size 16s, 18s, go as low as 20s and sort of um, tenegos and stuff like that for micro fishing, sight fishing as well. Um, We've got some more specialist stuff here. So we've got some of the stuff brought in from Japan. These are the decoys. They've got really good shapes, ideal for keeping baits on the hook and stuff like that. Absolutely perfect. We've got some drop shot hooks from Gamakatsu. We've got a bunch of sort of uh, freshwater coarse fishing hooks. Um, really, really well suited to change over and use for LRF. I use these for drop shots and snooded split shot rigs, stuff like that. And they come in a whole different range of shapes and sizes. Some with barbs, some without barbs, some of your micro barbs. So it's worth getting yourself a selection of hooks and then um, yeah, just choosing what you use for the situation. And we'll probably go into more detail on that on some other videos. Now, to keep things very, very simple, when you get started, I want you to use just three simple rigs. We've got jig heads. Really, really brilliant. You can put on a soft plastic lure or you can put on a scented lure. You can search the water. You can sort of fish them at paste, like on the surface, let it fish on the drop. You can fish along the bottom when you've got areas that aren't too snaggy. Really, really good place to start. The next one, I've got a range of different drop shot sizes here. The drop shot rig is your best friend when you first start. You can use a range of different size hooks, target different species, but the idea is you can keep your bait sort of quite sort of static. Your drop shot's on the bottom and your lure is just above it, sort of fluttering along in the tide. Absolutely perfect for when you're trying to like sort of, you locate where the fish are and you're going to target specific fish. And to get slightly, slightly more advanced, and I'm going to use two versions of the same rig really, We've got a Cheboresca and we've also got split shots. This gives you a chance to really, really get close and personal. You can use tiny little hooks behind a split shot or a Cheb. Uh, you can fish into little tiny little cracks and gullies and boulders and stuff like that. You can also search at range with it. It's a really, really good um, way to sort of use a smaller hook and gives you a chance of a bit more finesse. If you want us to go more in depth in any of these rigs, Please drop us a like, a comment, and let us know what you want us to talk about, and we'll make sure we get those made as soon as possible. So here we've got a perfect example of where we might fish the drop shot rig. You can have a look at Steve here. He's uh, fishing along this beautiful little wall. He's got little weed lines. The ground's quite smooth, so he's fishing in really close to that drop shot, tight against the wall trying to find the fish. He can move that around the wall. If he doesn't get a bite for 30, 40 seconds or so, he can move along, find himself another spot, and see if the fish bite just there. So as you can see behind me, this sort of ground is like a, sort of a boulder field. You get them on lots of breakwaters, places like that, harbour walls. Absolutely perfect for using your split shot rig and your Cheborashka rigs. And what we've got is a small bit of a lure on the back of a split shot here. I've got it down in between the boulders and a little hole and you tend to pick up some of your rock species. You pick up your gobies, your blennies. Sometimes you pick up some of your raft species as well. Absolutely perfect. I'm getting a few nibbles now, actually. Not bad. And here we've got a lovely little cork wing wrasse. Just shows how well the West Leopard moves. Filming for about 30 seconds. Got a bite and a fish. Looking at the landscape you might find yourself fishing, I'd say to keep it simple to start. I'd be looking at sea walls, piers, Maybe somewhere with railings you can lean against. You've got all your gear nice and handy. I'd start with locations like that. There's lots of spots like that around Plymouth, Brixham, Falmouth. Uh, further east, you've got Weymouth and Portsmouth, Gosport, places like that. 
Look for where you've got other anglers already fishing. Those are probably the spots where you'll be able to target these mini species. Once you get a little bit more advanced, that's when you're going to start looking into your boulders and your rock pools and stuff like that. So that's your gear and your location. And all I'm just going to do is the last final thought is just to say, try and keep it really simple. Have fun. We can really, really go into lots of technical details and make it lots really confusing. But I must say that some of the best LRF anglers I know out there keep it very, very simple. They fish a split shot rig, a drop shot rig, and that's about it. Keep it fun, keep it simple. Simple drop shot rigs, chuck it about, see how you get on before you start working your way up to the more advanced techniques. We really hope you found this video informative. If you'd like more, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Let us know what you want and we'll get more to you soon.